Okay, so I'm going to show how to open it up and remove the screen of a Dell Latitude 7480. So first what you want to do is um, undo all the screws from the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. So there's only two screws here and the rest of this is held with like some kind of clips that stick out. So what you want to do is these, you don't want to pull on these because these will, it, it like opens up this way. So what you do is if you can get from the back, um, if you can't, you'll have to use like a thin tool or something to kind of slide between the two layers. And then you can kind of go up from there. Okay. So I already undid the screws. These screws, they stay in. They don't actually come out. They're part of the back cover. So let me see if I can get this out without putting the phone down. So, oh, this is going to be kind of tough. Okay. So once you get into the cover like that, you can kind of wiggle it up and then it, it hinges forward like this, okay? So when you put it back, make sure to do the same thing. Hinge the front end first and then you can put it back down. So like with all the computers, if you can, first thing you want to do is disconnect the battery. The battery connector's right here. Just take this connector and pull up. If it's tough, you can kind of wiggle it, but you basically just pull up on it like that. Okay, after you do that, you want to um, press and hold the power button just to drain it. Um, so, let me do that real quick. I already kind of removed the frame, so that way I don't have to do it again. Um, but yeah, so basically hold down this power button. Make sure no power, make sure the screen doesn't come on. Alright, to remove the screen... Like all the other ones, um, there's actually an adhesive around here, so it's going to be tough when you remove it, but if your screen's broken, it shouldn't be an issue. You basically just get between the layers and kind of pull it up this way, and as the thing twists, I'll show you the clips on the back, but basically as it twists, it undoes the clips. So basically you'll have to pull kind of hard because there would be an adhesive all around the frame of the screen, but basically you do that. And you can get this out. So I'll show you the adhesive. There's some of it still on this here. See, just like that. It goes all the way around. So it makes the screen kind of tough. Okay. Um, once you do that, the screen's pretty simple to remove. Um, just take the screwdriver. Here. I didn't leave these removed, but let me take it out again so I can show you. So there's actually only two screws holding this screen in place. There's one in this bottom corner. Okay, all right, one there, and one on the other bottom corner, okay, so once you get those two screws out, all you do is lift from one of the corners, okay, well, technically from both corners, and then you can actually see this actually latches under here. So what you do is when you lift on this, sorry, my phone's going weird, but when you lift on this, you can actually slide this, the screen downwards. So just tilt it forward like that. Okay, both sides, and then the screen will slide down and it'll be released from these. Jeez, okay, from there. Once you do that, tilt it forward from the top and you'll see the LCD connector here. All right. Make sure you took the battery out and drained it. Then you can lift this up, peel this blue thing away. All right. Just stick it somewhere, save it for later. Okay. And then what you do is you just pull this latch up, just like that, and pull it, pull it back. Okay. So, and then same thing to put it back. Um, just make sure that it's hard to focus on this, but make sure the corners of these go in there so make sure you get it in the slot right don't force it in or you can bend and break stuff okay so that's pretty much how you remove the lcd and i'll show you the components on the other side all right so on the inside 
you got the RAM. There's only one stick here, but there's actually, there we go, there's actually two slots, so you can actually replace it. You can see the battery. There's some screws holding it. These are the speakers, but you can see the battery. There's some screws here. And yeah, basically the battery will just pop out if you remove all those screws. You got the speaker connector here. You got the CMOS battery connector here. CMOS battery is just double stick adhesive here. You got this. I think that's just an LED. Yep. So that's like the LED for like when it's sleeping or the hard drive. The other speaker connects to the other speaker through this wire. You got a M.2. This is a SATA SSD. I don't know if it supports a NVMe, but this is a SATA, I believe. Let's see here. Yeah, it's SATA. Sorry, it's hard to see. But there you go. It's a SATA SSD. And you got the LCD connector in here that goes to the main board. You got the DC jack here. It's held in place with this little bracket. All right, and you can see the hinge screws here, and you got um, a slot here. Oh, this is for a LTE card, so I'm guessing that's so you can add like a cellular data. This is the regular Wi-Fi card. It's under this under the one screw. There's the two antennas. When you remove the antennas, like every other model, you lift the wire from the back and the connector. It'll go up at an angle don't pull don't pull from this side or you can damage it and make sure when you put it back that it's lined up and then just push straight down if you angle it wrong then you can damage it and it's really tough to fix these then you can see the fans right here just two screws holding it and all the other ports are part of the main board so if you break those then you're pretty much gonna have to replace the main board so then there's this that's the LED for this here and then you got the connectors here one of them I don't want to take out the battery but basically it's gonna be for like the trackpad and keyboard I don't know if there's let me see is there anything else on the front I think that's pretty much for this model yeah so that's pretty much it um, I believe this connectors, they'll be, one will be for the keyboard and then possibly for that little uh, nub in the middle as well as the trackpad. So, let's see if you can actually tell. It doesn't really say BTP. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, actually, let me show you what RAM this is using. Looks like DDR4. Let's pop it out. So it is DDR4, yep, 2400T. Okay, so it actually shows here DIM A, DDR4, DIM B, so you have to have the first one here. Alright, and the wireless card just in case you need to replace that for some reason. Alright, so once again, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I do these repairs for customers, so I don't really ha own these computers. So if you have a question, try and ask it as soon as you see this video. Otherwise, I probably won't have the computer, but I'll try and help you anyways. Um, if you like this video and if it helped you out, please um, subscribe and like this video. And that'll really help me out. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.